The Muslim rights concern Murid has accused Amoteku, the Southwest Regional Security Outfit, of intimidating other ethnic groups living and doing business in the region. According to the Islamic organization, members of Amoteku are profiling and intimidating northerners traveling down south. Muri further accused the security outfits of engaging in extrajudicial killings of Yoruba people. The group's claim was contained in a statement signed and issued to Daily Post on Thursday by its director, Professor Ishak Akisola. Says, reports reaching us indicate that the Southwest Regional Security Outfit, Amotekun, has been engaging in extrajudicial killings, Murik said. Among those killed without proper recourse to law were Akolade Badibo, a 400 level student of the University of Ibadan, who was killed on 26 December 2020. Seven Fulanis were also reportedly killed at Ayiti in Ibarak, but North Local Government Area of Oyo State on Monday. 11th january 2021 we also have reports that vehicles coming from or going to the north are being stopped by members of the amotecum corps the other house are to disembark search them and almost strip them naked murik strongly condemns this act of stereotyping of a particular ethnic group the intimidation of northern travelers violates the spirits and letter of section 41 of the 1999 Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. We believe that Amotekun can be useful in steaming the tide of insecurity in the South West without targeting any particular ethnic group, Murik alleged. Record that Odua People Congress OPC had recently warned the Fulani APS Sociocultural Organization, Miesi Allah Katu Breeders Association of Nigeria, Magban, against an alleged plot to infiltrate Amotekun. OPC gave the warning while reacting to Magban's call for inclusion of its members and other ethnic bodies in the outfits. In a similar development, a southwest group of the Yoruba, one voice had called on the governor of Lagos State, Babagide Sanwolu, to without further delay inaugurate the Amotekun in the state. The, re the group made the call while expressing concern about the space of insecurity, wondering why it is why it took the governor almost a year to inaugurate the outfit. Amoteku, with the motto Zero Tolerance to Crime, was founded on January 9, 2020, by the six governors of the Southwest Nigeria for the purpose of curbing insecurity in the region. Hmm. You can imagine what uh, Murik is telling us, is now saying. He said, according to reports, what you heard, you know, this statement you made, is it not uh, inciting? You are saying that they are targeting this thing. You know, of course, everybody should just know where this man belongs to. Why should they be targeting northerners? But the question is that, I don't know whether Murik, of course, we know the, the, the bidding of the people is, you know, is, 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 is stowing. Because we've been talking about... Fulani, S-Men, Wahala. It is not only limited to the Southwest, all over the country, even in their place, it's happening there. It is happening there. And people have been complaining in the Southwest, as Murik ever one day, as the group or this particular Isha Gakitola, who is always, uh, who is the leader of this uh, Murik, as he ever one day talked about the farmers. Okay, the, the Agbola, the man that died recently, and a lot of farmers that have been experiencing a lot of trouble from this Fulani Esme. And also the Ogun State is there around there, is there. These Fulanis that uh, Fulani Esme that have been terrorizing the Edo re, uh, Ondo residents and Ekiti residents. It's been happening or shown residents. We, we have not ever he has never made statements concerning that. Or you want to tell us it has never happened. You are talking about ethnic groups. Who are the ethnic groups who are complaining? Who are the people who are doing all manner of committing all manner of atrocities against the people? Have you ever made mention at least one case? One case. Have you ever said it? But this statement is inciting. Honestly, it is really inciting. Well, I think everybody knows uh, what uh, Murik stands for. If the Islamic group can warn Kuka, then Murik should also be called to order. What exactly is the aim of Isha Kakitola? He found the embers of disunity 
in this country than any other group. Can the government say that they are not hearing these wide utterances? Or is wide utterances, what is good for the goose should be good for the Ganda. There should be no selective and partial responses. Please, Murik is a looming disaster. There is nothing to be afraid of. This Waterloo is fast approaching and God will silence every traitor in Yoruba land. This Murik man is a sick man and an illiterate, regardless of his title as a professor, he is sick of say. Islamic terrorist organization, mm, Murik. This Murik is one man show. He's not a good Muslim. Just ignore him. Mm. Just ignore him. Well, this man really needs to be treated. You can imagine. <laughs> Murik, Murik, Murik. Well, I suppose you, silence is the best answer for this man, Murik. Ignore who? Are you one of them? We can't ignore Fulani terrorists. They must be wiped out from this nation. Ignoring this Murik man is ignoring Viper in one's living room. <laughs> it cannot be ignored. It's farming ember of, of problem, whether hatred or whatever you want to call it. You are coming out boldly to even say this. Coming out and begin to vomit this kind of a statement. When did the Amotekun start? So they will just wake up and begin to do what? Who are the people who are coming into this country? Who are the people who, who it's been established? They are the ones. Okay, you want to tell us uh, the people are disguising in the north. They are not a uh, full and yes man. They are not the ones dealing with their people over there. They talk of bandits. They talk of kidnappers. Who are the people? I'm sure the Yoruba people are the ones doing all of those things in that area. It is, it is done in that area, area and they are functioning very well in the north and they have moved everywhere so is it the south west that is complaining about them is it the south only south east that is complaining about them south south it is the same thing when this issue of a uh, this thing uh, came up in in delta did you not hear did you not hear the governor of delta state complain about this whole thing because all of them we don't even understand where they all belong to whether they are epc or pdp but in as much they are nigerian politicians you don't even know where they belong to whether they belong to the people or they belong to their own carcass, because the politicians they are they are the same they are families as far as we are concerned why the members of the public they are just on their own so you want to tell us that uh, all the atrocities of fulani esme in this country whether from the north the south or the six geop in all the six geopolitical zones you've never heard anything about this uh, fulani you have never even made any statement when they are even talking about it, that they own the country did you see anything? Well, like I said, everybody knows where Isha Kapitola and what he represents. And so, keeping him quiet is not going to help the matter. Keeping, keeping him quiet will not help the matter. And people are not even coming out. The, the constituted authority in the West, they are not even coming out to, 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 to stop him from all of these uh, things that he vomits from his mouth.